Good morning, guys. Today we're going to take the Apache. Uh, I think it's a 1240 XP out. Push button start. There we go. It's got the Raven Viper 4 in here. That's what we have in our other ones too, so uh, we're very familiar with the monitor. I love that monitor. It is my favorite monitor to use. Brian uh, put a whole day of spraying in this thing yesterday. Uh, there's definitely some points that he likes and he dislikes. We can discuss that later. So I think it's going to get windy on us here today, so I'm thinking we could probably get maybe a load out here in this, this morning and maybe uh, a couple in the evening or something. but. Um, we want to put a little bit of time on it as well. So yeah, let's go and let's go take this thing and uh, we'll go load it. So right off the go here, I'll show you. We got side load. Uh, we got our two battery posts up here to run your pumps. Uh, load here. This is just a three-way valve, so you can either load your product or you can uh, rinse your tank as well. Uh, this is your rinse tank fill. Not very often do you see a three inch wrench tank fill. Uh, this is for your hand wash. One thing I noticed right away is when I look at this, I'm thinking, oh, that's where that's my five gallon hand wash. Just throw some water in there, but no, this is your fuel. So don't screw that up. Also have your little keypad. Initially counts. Turn your pump on and off. But we're gonna front load. Right here. And uh, not very often do you see battery posts on front load, so uh, that's pretty cool as well. All right, let's load. Okay, I gotta come back for my gloves. This is the toolbox. It's a little bit high, but yeah. So we're loaded. I don't really like going under the boom. Like this is a head hitter. You gotta got a duck. Duck to get in here. Oh. See. Let's go put some fuel in this thing, uh, Brian. Uh, it's actually not bad on fuel because Brian ran it all day. Didn't have to load it, so let's go load this puppy up. So to shift this thing, you uh, you got your gears one, two, three, four. It's kind of like the fence. You just tap it, tap it this way to shift down, and tap it this way to shift up. And then uh, hold on, I got I got a turn here. And then you just push it the throttle. And, it's, and it will stay wherever you push it. And then there's two buttons here on the back. I'll show you that when we stop here. All right guys, it's evening now, it's about 8 p.m. Uh, it's been windy all day. So the wind finally went down. Terry's over there loading up the 4060. We're taking out the Apache today. And hopefully the other guys are gonna come over and hop on some case sprayers. So uh, let me grab my coffee and let's get rocking. All right guys, so uh, now that we've got this thing fired up, I'm just gonna run you through a few things. So we got our Viper 4 here. I'm a big fan of that, as you know. Um, here you have your uh, display for your Apache. It is a touch screen, okay? So then you can cycle through here and you can get uh, your engine uh, load you have your RPMs, what was the other one? Oh yeah, fuel rate. And then over here, I think it's basically the exact same thing. So you can kind of choose uh, what you want to have. It's got about 34 hours on it. It is a six speed transmission. You do have to shift it. This is your shifter. It is also your um, throttle. See? Okay. Now there is two buttons on the back. See those two buttons right there? Top one is for uh, you hold it and you put it into gear. Bottom one is you hold it and you will reverse. But as soon as you let off that button, you will stop reversing. So you have to keep holding that button. To my knowledge, you got your left boom up down, your right boom up down, your center rack up down, your auto and your um, product switch right here. So everything is here. These do light up at night, just so you guys know that. Um, on here, you have your two cruise controls. I think I was kind of going through that a little bit. Uh, I haven't quite got all that figured out. Uh, you got your pump. We can just turn our pump on right now, actually. 
will start agitating. This is your agitation up, agitation pressure down. Normally it would show up on here. We don't have a job open right now. Uh, this is for your uh, wings because it is uh, it's like a bifold, right? Just two, so you got each wing, fold and unfold, and your climate control. Park brake, it's a push button start, you guys. Uh, you got your battery disconnect over here, and then you, your uh, auto steer on off button right there. You got two cup holders. It's kind of hard to get to because your elbow kind of hits the seat, but it is definitely doable. Yeah, I know that's not the best, uh, not the best coffee mug right there for that, but so you got this down here. Every time I hop in this thing, I want to hit this and pull my steering wheel down, but it is not like a case or like your traditional. That's actually your throttle. So I'm always hitting my throttle. Yes, this is right here. I don't know how many times I had to grab that, but this is right here, and that is actually how you pull your steering wheel down. Can't do it when I have my other hand on the camera. Your buddy seat is nothing fancy. It, is, it will actually move. I think there was supposed to be a cooler in here. That is definitely not a cooler. So we could probably put this like this and you can put your other or cup holders. Oh, but the seat, here, let me get out of this thing for a second. The seat, it's actually a pretty good seat. You got your, uh, your up down, it's air seat, and you got your heated cooled right there. And it actually fits pretty good. It's not one of those lame cooled seats. It will actually, uh, she'll push out a lot of cold air, let me tell you. This is my one pet peeve with the seat. This thing kind of sticks out pretty far. So when you come down to the sit, it always hits your calves. It's my one pet peeve of the seat. All right, what else we got? You got your one shade here. Uh, with these particular booms, these, uh, you have zero visibility out your uh, side windows when you are in transport. That is your view. Uh, these ones, they stick up. Where the case, they actually stick down, and the John Deere, they actually stick down or lower. All right. Now that we got all that, let's get to the field. Now, I am no pro in running this thing, okay? I haven't even put out one tank. I haven't put out one tank with this thing. So, uh, bear with me. This is basically me just trying to show you as much as I know. They did come down and they walked me right through everything. But uh, that was like four or five days ago because it's been windy and uh, my younger brother Brian's been the one running it and he's not here right now to give me a bit of a refresher course. So I'm going to try and learn this as I go and hopefully I can run this thing for about a day and then I can do another review with you guys in a little bit. How's that sound? Uh, I have, there's already speakers. There's already speakers. That, already, that automatically tells me that the sound system is going to be better than the case. <laughs> so, let's go. Alright, so I'm going to hit that button back here. Right there, the top one. And I idle back. Hold my brake. Oh, maybe I should take my park brake off. That would definitely help. Hold the brake. There, it starts off in two. Whoa, a little jerky. Little jerky. And we're out of here. Now this steering wheel, you have to turn it. It's not hard, but it's got a little bit of resistance there. I, I actually don't mind that, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, visibility here is kind of hard to see when you're sitting in the cab. Don't worry, it will improve when we get to the field. Let's go. Right, I wanted to say we just rev it up and we just shift, we just, we all actually just tap it to the right to shift it up. There you go, we're in three. Oh yeah, we're going. And then you can idle back. Okay. We're just getting on the road here. Let's shift it up. There we go, and the throttle will stay. Shift it up again, fifth. Here we go. I feel like I should have my seatbelt on in here. Shift it up again. Oh, we're going, that's sixth gear. All the way out. Okay. 
It says we're doing 35.5 miles an hour, 36. We're flying, and that's loaded, by the way. We are loaded. So it's got quite a bit of jam, to be honest with you. It'll pick up this load pretty quick and get going. We are wide open, so please listen for the sound. I'll shut up. Okay, now that you guys listen to that, I'm gonna swipe over. Well, I'm gonna try. And then we have a camera, hold on, rear camera. Sorry about that, I got one hand. There, that's pretty handy, that's built in. just ran across the road. <laughs> Imagine if I was in a John Deere and I hit a deer. I don't know if that's like some sort of bad omen or something. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to see you guys at the field. Okay, we just got to the field here. Sorry about the sun in your eyes. Um, we just I just opened up a job. I just named my job. Uh, my pump is going, it's green, it's lit up. So this is the same as what we have in the case. So I'm really familiar with this. Although we don't have this, so this is a little bit new. Uh, I'm gonna go in here to here. Uh, so you can put in your target rate and your pressure and it will tell you what your range is. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I have to think about this for a second. Okay, I'm gonna unboom. I'm gonna unboom. Now, I don't know if I can remember how to do this, but uh, bear with me. I believe this one goes all the way up. Then this one, the left one, goes all the way up. They both go all the way up, and then I go to, there is an unfold button. Okay, um, I'm just gonna do it this way. I'm gonna hit the unfold button, and I'm gonna hold them both. And then they will go out like that. I know there is an auto unfold button, but like I said, this is my first load, so don't judge me. That one's sitting up in Chinatown. I should bring that thing down. Left boom down. There we go. There we go. Right boom down. And then we're going to wing out those other ones. Okay. Now we're going to do these ones. Just hold them both because we're on the un unfold. There we go. Not that this is the end of the world. I actually have to do it manually. There's worse things. As you can see, I got pretty good visibility. Awesome. We are we are ready to start rock and rolling this boat. So let's uh, lower our booms. And then we're gonna turn our auto boom on. Heck, we could probably turn it on right now. Uh, auto boom. There we go. And then we gotta double tap any of them. There, I double tapped them. We're ready to go. We are on and ready to rock. Let's figure this thing out. Right, so coming off the auto boom, we gotta go back to our, right here, and this, we gotta top up our tank. There, now our tank is full. And this is, I'm gonna leave it on this page. So this page is gonna be a mini version right there in my left corner, right corner. All right, now I think we can get going. I'm not gonna do this while I'm spraying until I'm on auto steer because this is a new system for me. We're doing a first round and when you do a first round, you wanna make sure that that boom is right just about on the ground. It's still almost too high. I almost wanna drag it. Just like that. That's where you want it. Why? Because I don't want to disturb any of his crop. Just like that. Okay, I gotta go though. All right guys, that was uh, actually a very difficult to do. Um, these are some sloughs that I seeded. We're spraying right through them. The reason why we're spraying through them is because they didn't get a burn off, right? They were all regrown with weeds and we sprayed them. So if there's anything growing, we're gonna kill it before the crop comes up. And don't worry, the crop will come through it.
That section's off because it's uh, in my mapping. See right, right there. We're in fourth gear. All I have to do is just pull back on this and it still acts like a hydro. Alright, I'm going to turn this corner. Well guys, so far, pretty good. Oh, it's definitely a little rougher, but uh, it's got pretty good power and uh, it's got great lugging. Like, I'm in fourth gear. I can pretty much just about bring this thing right down to a stop, climb them in a hill, like if I'm trying to turn a corner or something, and then just give give it some more goose and uh, she'll just pick back up again. If I want to pick up just a little bit quicker, I'll just shift it to third and boom, you're up, you're up to speed quick. So uh, that's nice. Like it's not like you have to worry about stalling it. You're not going to stall it. So you could just you could bring it right to a stop in fourth gear is what I'm trying to say and and turn a corner no problem. So that's nice. That's my first observation. So I'm going to put out a few loads with this thing. So now that you guys are kind of getting the the feel and I'm getting the feel for how this Apache runs. And again, it's a 120 foot boom, 1200 gallon tank, uh, all powered by Raven. And this is the new XTR Auto Boom. And it's way faster than our other Raven Auto Boom on the case sprayers. Not that it has anything to do with case or John or anything else. It has all to do with, uh, hold on here. Hold on, we gotta turn. See, I can pull this thing right back right back in fourth gear, I'm doing 3.9 miles, 3.2, 2.8 in fourth gear. Oh man, I could just about bring it to a stop here. And then all you gotta do is just give her a little goose. So it's, it's kinda like a hydro, but yet it's still not a hydro. But it's pretty dang good. You don't have to be shifting gears all the time if you don't want to. Then hit your little auto steer button, get you back up on that other line. See? If you wanted to go a little bit more, all I have to do is shift it down, no big deal. Okay. I don't remember what I was saying now. I lost uh, I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, the auto boom. It's just a new, uh, this is a 2020 model, an XTR auto boom from Raven just came out. I do believe it's XTR, I hope I'm not mistaken. If I am, I apologize, but it just came out for 2020. So I'm going to put out some loads, you guys. I'll catch you on the flip side. Have a good evening.